What's up, what's up, fam fam? So, this is my third attempt to do our intro. The first intro was 3 minutes and 15 seconds of me just channeling and chilling and playing in the energy. It was pleasant. Alright, so, you know, the next intro, I tried to make it shorter, and it, it I, I don't know, it just wasn't doing what it do. And then now we're just gonna get straight to it, because, yeah, we got the Kipper, we got the Radiant Classic. Is it considered classic if it's Radiant? I don't even know what you, it's, it's the Rider deck, alright, but it's Radiant, alright, it's bright, it's alright, you feel me? It stands out a little bit, like us, like attracts like. Oh, we're popping. Anywho, you know what? I'm not gassing us up. You feel me? Give all the glory to the big guy upstairs. You know, for the protection, for the abundance, for the wealth. For another day for coffee and grease. All right, let's move forward. Let's proceed. Let's see what's going on. Bottom of the deck, we have Pathway. Pathway is illuminated. Okay, all right. Butterflies, like new beginnings, new births, right? New beginnings. I like that. I like that. The vibes are feeling good. All right, very happy. Very playful. I'm liking the vibe. Let's go. Bro, sudden wealth. Mm, if that ain't what I'm talking about, talk to me. Nice. Sudden wealth. All right, as you can see, it's hitting the jackpot, bro. Okay, so we're winning. Clearly, okay? The pathway has been illuminated. We're running, okay? You feel me? We got this. Let's go. Now, which one was the top and which one was the bottom? I'm assuming it's like this. Let's go. Okay, sudden wealth. Something's coming in quickly. All right, let's go, okay? And wealth. I like the sound of that, you feel me? That's that's long that's long term. You feel me, Rich? <laughs> Here and there, you feel me? But wealth, that's 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 nice. Okay, what well, we got their message with the we have message and unexpected income and child. Mm hmm is somebody's somebody suddenly gonna be hit with a, a baby? Okay, not really. Okay. Maybe somebody's manifestation is finally coming to fruition and that's why we're so happy. Okay. Bottom of the deck. I don't know how pathways at the bottom of the deck still. All right, we're gonna leave that there. Praise the Most High on that. Okay, so apparently, you know, babies. All right, could be a business, could be a child, could be a child. But babies, business, manifestation. What's this new energy? You feel me? All I know is that it's finally here and it's coming in quickly. It looks like it's going to be unexpected. You're going to definitely be receiving a message with some sort of unexpected blessing within it. All right. Now I'm seeing the six of pentacles here, a sense of reciprocity, or as you can see, giving, gifting. Mm, okay. Okay. Over here we have coffin. What the heck? What the heck? Over and done with. Fenito. Rebirth. Okay. A transformation. Oh. Okay. I can see where that's going. My bad, Bizzle. Let's go. All right, we're going to leave that there anyway, just because. All right? Mm-hmm. Let's go. Influence in the read. Bottom. Oh, this feels good. Influence in the read. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Oh, where <laughs> Why is she here? All right. So, the Queen of Swords, she's very intelligent. She's rather discerning. All right, she's a wonderful, intelligent woman. Yes, she's holding a sword, but she's fair. All right, she's going to allow you to speak your truth, and if necessary, she will use her sword. All right, she's she's honestly popping. All right, um... Ooh, okay, let's go. All right, she has very firm boundaries, and apparently she wants to be on the table. Maybe she has something to do with this. Ooh, okay, see, that's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. I think, okay. Okay, we're good. We're popping. We're good. Let's talk about it. Okay, so I think this Queen of Swords is the same Queen of Swords who's been, you know, doing what she had to do in the background. Remember the King of Swords, Queen of Swords combination that was going on yesterday. So, um, yo no sé, yo no sé, yo no sé. Let's say it. Okay. She had to end that situation in order for her to come forward, which was what she was worried about. All right, so now, here we go. Unexpected blessing. Is that a divine masculine peeking at us? Hold up. Well, who are you? Who are you? Oh, Divine Masculine with that death card. Rebirth, baby. But look, unexpected income. Don't that look familiar? Where are you? Where are you when I need you, bro? Come on. There we go. Doesn't that look familiar? No, you see the Six of Pentacles as well. I know. All right, look, bro. I was trying to push it. Don't judge my life, man. I'm trying over here. But it resonated. Okay, let's go. Nonetheless, she's over here handling her business. And then this unexpected blessing is going to come to the Divine Masculine. How does she keep taking over our table, bro? Like, what about us? Like, 
Let's go. It's all good. Okay. All right. We're just going to let it rock. I feel you, but we're going to let it rock. Okay. What we got going on here? What we got going on here? Talk to me nice. Talk to me nice. All right. So final decisions are being had. Trumpets are being sounded at this time. Final decisions are being made and the scales are being balanced. With the two of wands, somebody's finally gained their legs. They know which way they're moving in. As you can see, they're definitely dressed, suited, ready to go. Nice clothing, if I do say so myself. And it looks like they're holding the world and their wand in the other hand, leaving behind a complete other wand. And it almost looks like there's like tape and everything on this wand as if it's battered and broken. And, you know, this is a new journey on a new path you feel me okay okay very good very good very oh message so we delivered that okay now was did this actually drop on the table because no this was the deck talking okay so final decisions have been reached apparently with the judgment and stuff all right somebody unfortunately has to stand their ground right now but we can clearly see that bit defensive but they, they are at an advantage you clearly see the angels working behind them <laughs> Okay, they're on the verge towards that new beginning. All right, and also Eight of Wands, Communication. All right, okay, cool. Yeah, you want to come out here. You see that, right? Yeah, you want to come out here. Come on. All right, so she's confident. Rather attractive. Okay, her eyes on the prize. She's happy, but she's still on the battlefield. I'm going to be honest with you. Gemini energy over here. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Queen of Wands on the battlefield. Okay, she's made her final decision. She's using that sword. She's in between the swords and the wands. I'm going to be honest with you. If you are in an argument or something, that's not an energy you want to be in a situation with. Um, Yeah, not only can she talk the talk, but she can back it up. Okay, so yeah, very, yeah. Okay, so she's over here sitting back, thinking, meditating. All right, four cups. Possibly about a potential missed opportunity that, you know, she was focused on everything in front of her, possibly her friends, her community, her social group, whatever was going on. She completely missed the blessing that was literally uh, to her side. Okay. Uh. Now, with the lovers, yes, it's soulmate energy, but also it's about choices. Choices, what type of choices, people, places, and things, where are you going to lead to? All right, you feel me? So let's keep going. Let's go. Okay. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. King of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Ooh, the Emperor. And the Death. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Not missing that opportunity, I see. Yeah. You ready to hit that transform button? Okay, you've been thinking about how you missed the opportunity, and you would really like to commit to this particular king of pentacles emperor energy something you're unaware of though you're, you're digging around doing some research a little bit of spine here and there oh you you recognize this is your blessing oh you see ultimate fulfillment and happiness with this mm, interesting what's this what's this oh you love him oh mm, uh, oh you want to return to him oh you know what was that the Six of Pentacles following? It was. Boom, hold up. Let's acknowledge it. Boom, and the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so now I can say what I wanted to say now that I see it. Didn't do that intention. Oh, and Ace of Swords. So all that's the truth. All right, over here, Six of Pentacles. Does that not look the same? Right here to right here. Giving to the deserving parties. Taking from the undeserving and giving to the rightful people. Huh? What are you in your head about? We're not going to get into that. That's not what this is about, okay? Oh, sending this love message, possibly. Because there's a heart right there. Oh, so cute. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Proceeding. Was it this way? I think it was this way. No, I think you were actually a split, and the emperor was in the back. Crap. Okay, you know what? We're just going to rock. Crap. Crap. I hope I didn't mess up anything. Oh, spirit, help me out. This is a nice timeline, I'm not going to lie. Eight of Wands. Okay, so, okay, we did. Hopefully we didn't mess up. Okay, no, we didn't. We're good. We're chilling. We're chilling. You feel me? Thank God. All right. Okay, let's go. Seven of Swords to the Hanged Man. Mm -hmm. All right. Sneaking around, seeing things. Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Why are you handling your business over there? Okay, 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 okay. So here comes the communication. All right. Somebody's happy. Somebody can't stop smiling, honestly. Interesting. They're actually surprised by this inner, by this sudden communication. Like it's gonna be a win. It's gonna be a score. Hmm. I wonder what you're gonna be. How you're gonna be making this energy so happy? Eight of Wands in the Sun. Interesting. Let's talk about it. Eight of Wands in the Sun. All right, boom. Okay, so let's see. How are you going to make this energy or situation so happy? Oh, 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 ten. Oh, it's that conversation. Oh, okay, okay. All right, homie in the building. Let's go. Let's talk about it. Boom. All right, so you're going to, you have some exciting news or an announcement to make to this particular energy. Okay, ooh, that you see a long-term potential with this energy, that you actually are kind of into this particular energy. Okay, Ten of Wands, King of Swords. Okay, so we already see the separation. We already know about all of that to the blessing. So that this, the energy that she's separating from, she really doesn't want to come in between, but she's ready to send the message so my question is let's get some insight on this king of swords how about that do we have time for that are you guys cool with that i'm cool with that you cool with that i'm cool with that let's be cool with that together all right so king of swords all right now is this the energy that you separated from over here or is this the king of swords that is going to be unexpectedly receiving this blessing ah yeah you talking real nice so we're going to figure out who this king of swords is First and foremost, because we definitely see that she's a bit defensive and she's in her queen of wands, right? Now, but we also see that there's a potential blockage getting to this blessing. So, I don't know. We got to figure that out, guys. We got to figure that out. All right, don't talk to me like that. I know this is crazy. This is intense, okay? I get it. We're okay. I get it, okay? Oh, it's, it's the knight of wands from the previous reading. So, should we really continue? All right, like, do we really want to? All right, let's go. Okay, let's, let's just confirm. Don't harp it. Ten of Wands to the Ten of Cups, yeah. Okay, so let's let's talk. Ten of Wands, King of Swords. Star. The World. The Nine of Cups and the Seven of Swords. Yeah, so she's sneaking away from this King of Swords energy. She doesn't want this energy to... Had, be, to be privy to you know whatever is going on in her life that situation's over and done there's no reason for you to be here they need to rest they need to heal you cannot heal in the same place that you are hurt and traumatized you feel me so it's like you know she's just trying to do what's best for her own health but and it's kind of also leading her towards somebody who's really loving and healing. You know what they say? You should heal before you get in a relationship. Yeah, but some people's love is healing. And as long as you, I believe, like, you know, you're consciously healing and know that you, you're aware and you're self-aware and, you know, you're taking your time to yourself and you're not, like, vamping on your person. Like, I don't see an issue with having... Oh, hold on. Oh... Oh, hold up, hold up. <clears throat> I don't see an issue. I don't see an issue with you, like, if you're aware of yourself and you're aware of, you know, what's going on in your situation, you're aware that you're not draining your person. I don't see it having an issue with you allowing your person to be with you on a small leg of your healing journey but it's not a trauma dumping it's not an abusive situation you know like it's light-hearted it's quaint there's boundaries for both of you so that you know you're not emotion draining or trauma dumping on them and you know they can still healthily operate and they don't feel as if you were an assignment your family like i have no issue with people healing together like as long as you know that's what you're doing you're both aware of what's going on and the roles and dynamic that you guys are in you feel me because communication is key to success so it doesn't matter the type of relationship or situation you're in as long as you're communicating and you know 
your boundaries are intact, it could be successful. It doesn't matter. You don't necessarily have to heal by yourself. Yeah. All right. So over here, Eight of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Hanged Man. So she's realized and she's finally seen in the situation that she has to move in silence to get this situation over, like, handled for her to get to her passion in the beginning. I didn't see that before. So, um, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. That kind of ruined everything for me, honestly, because I was in the middle of whatever. But it's cool. At least we got to have some insight and understanding on why um, this particular message hasn't been delivered just yet but it's gonna be a win when it is but this guy over here seems to be a bit of a tyrant okay a bit of a tyrant so we're gonna leave this one right here um i'm i'm, I'm liking this deck i'm kind of tired of this energy being on the table so i don't know if we deliver this message successfully Maybe I'm gonna have to go on live and deliver the message. Like do a collective reading on TikTok live or something. Because this energy has been on the table for some time. So that means it hasn't reached the person that it's meant to reach. Okay, we have to um I have to I have to get this video out. I have to get this video out. Okay, so, alright, we're gonna have to chop it up and we'll put it everywhere. Or, we'll just go live. I'm sorry, guys. Love you.